morning all of you today i'll be explaining to you how to draw a correlation matrix i mean suppose you have got a you got some values like this okay so uh, this value okay take this value so you got five rows and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 columns are there so this is a this is a matrix you are having in the excel excel file you have, you got a matrix okay so one each this value corresponds to the correlation value or the r value between this lv ids and mfv okay and this will be the r value between this and this okay so we have got a correlation matrix so it's one correlation matrix is there so you want to plot the correlation matrix okay so um, uh, in excel how you can do is that it's for conditional formatting so here you can click the conditional formatting and then you can use the coloring is this uh, you can see how it changes the colors so this is so in excel this is the only method for you to have a correlation uh, correlation matrix to plot it uh, the different methods are there uh, to show the intensity of each value like that you can have it okay so this is how you plot it in the r form so here you can see this green is more um, green green color goes to negative yellow color go to positive like that. so let us see how we can do the same in same in r okay r you will get a good plot you will get the good plot so for that so what you got you have got an excel file and with excel file you have got some values and corresponding values for and it, it can be called as a matrix so suppose this is the value 0.01 that is the r value corresponding to ef and mf and then you have got this so i am just pressing control c so this has been copied to clipboard okay so how to you now read from the clipboard for that you want this function this package library clipboard okay you load that library and then now you can read it from the clipboard okay for that the command is read underscore you can uh, see the help and read underscore clip underscore yeah this function this function will be using read underscore clip underscore tbl okay so we are going to read that read that function to a variable okay some variable okay i am going to take it as some t okay so read underscore clip okay i am just going to read it to the use into t okay now you see what is in it so you got it okay you got the values from the clipboard directly to t okay so t contains same values as this one okay now you are going to plot it okay so for plotting you want a library called gg corr plot okay so the this library okay just load that library if you don't have install that library and load it and now you can just plot it gg and t okay see it came so it is very simple just directly you are reading from the clipboard and not a lot difficult okay just read it from that clipboard and use the command gg correlation plot so you can see the minus 1 or uh, 
this will be more negative and red color correspond to more positive one minus one to positive one they are plotting them now you can export this as we do to any image or anything so we will see something that has got a good I mean something that has got a good good correlation and see how it is point some values yeah we will take this one this has got point four seven eight so let us see how it is so we are selecting this to click for just control C and coming ready to T see what is there in T and just plot it okay see we can see here so see this one this is this is the brightest red color okay so let us see what is the value so this correspond to CO and M of V CO and M of V yeah see the point four seven eight that is the brightest color okay this how you draw a GG yeah, I mean this is how you use the correlation plot technique so what is this you have got some values or r values for different variables so here 0.478 correspond to uh, co and m of v so that comes that has got the near to 0.5 okay, that is why it came so suppose if you have got a uh, value near to 1 that you show as very red color so this is how you plot and there are different methods to plot correlation plot you can see here I, I mean this is a uh, I will send I will put the link uh, yeah this is the link you can see the link of this help file so you can see different methods are there suppose you want to get uh, circle type okay you, you have got separate command for circle type so this is circle type so just copy this one put it here and make the variable to our variable that is t see we will get circle type okay so these are different methods you can see different methods in this help file how to use gg cor plot for visualization of a correlation matrix okay this is how you do it and just have, i have shown in this file they have taken from the data set so uh, you have to uh, so they, here they have worked with the data set empty cards and then how to make a correlation matrix also they are doing a correlation matrix so I, I didn't show that I showed you how if you get a correlation matrix from the Excel file. So here they are making a correlation matrix using this command COR underscore PMAT. Okay. That's all the this is for the P value and this is for the correlation. Okay, this one. Sorry, this is for the other one was for the P value and this one here. They're making correlation matrix using this one. COR command. COR empty cards so they are using the CORR command for plotting you can see CORR so here they are making correlation matrix directly from the data set what I showed you is that I showed you from the excel file after getting a matrix okay only there is a difference so you you can plot you can directly take from the excel file and then plot it one more thing i'll tell you suppose you got the p value okay p value you got a p value uh, so this is the p value correspond just like the r value this is a p value corresponding uh, corresponding to two two variables and this is a p value matrix now you if you want to plot that okay how to plot that uh, the main difference between the correlation matrix plot and p-value plot is you must get this in as a matrix whatever you read it okay whatever you're going to read it so now i'm going i'm same command i'm using and i'm 
another variable r variable uh not like r something u u uh, i am reading it to u u so now you can see what is on the u so this is uh, you want to type of okay u and it is a list so uh, the problem is that list will not work in the p value port you want to make it to a matrix okay you want to directly make it in a matrix and only it will work so i will tell you how to read it so this is the command for reading from the list so u is the list now you are making a matrix from this u so here you are telling number of columns how many columns are there you have to say so here how many columns are there seven columns are there you are telling seven columns and then you type that i mean eight columns then let me try that so now uh, what i am going to show you is that you have got a list u and that from the list u you are going to make a matrix m a t underscore u so this is a command for that so just type the command and then see what is the in in that matrix see it has become so this is a command matrix bracket unlist u so you are unlisting the u a number of columns equal to 7 and by row equal to false because we have given the columns 7 so it will be done based on the column wise so you can see this are the same value so now if you type of mat underscore u you can see it has come to show in double so this is a matrix so now you can use this matrix for plotting plot in the p value plot so what is the difference now what i did now i was having a e value matrix okay and this i have i have copied to the clipboard and from the clipboard i read to that uh, read it to a list and that i convert that list into matrix because what i'm going to show you is that i am going to use a library called plot matrix okay library plot matrix you want to have plot matrix okay you have to load this okay library plot dot matrix and you have to use this library so it, the function that plot in this plot simple plot mat underscore u just plot it you get the yeah you get the p value plot so this just one command plot and then you give the matrix you will get the you can see here so here the uh, plus 1 okay so to plus 1 so here uh, thing is that which are is close to zero will have more red color and which is close to 1 will have yellow color okay this how you plot it the plot the um, plot this matrix okay so now if you you can break it into different values okay i think i have got the help file of that yeah here the you can see this is the help file for that plot in the p value you can see in this website how you can break into different sessions suppose you want to uh, we'll just see that 
Okay, there's plot. Paste it here. Change into our variable. See now we are split into zero, zero to point five one session, and point five to one another session. Like that also you can plot. Okay. Because what you are what we are do, doing is that we are plotting zero to one using the command plot in the plot dot matrix. So why we can't use the correlation matrix that of libraries? That is from minus one to plus one. So here you are plotting from zero to plus one. Okay. So here we can change the values and see. Uh, suppose you want to your alpha is 0 0.05, and if something is there, okay, we can try that 0 0.05. Maybe there is no value below 0.05. Okay, that is there, and then. See, there is no value that's why uh, there is no red okay all are above 0.05 like that you can see uh, suppose you want to suppose if something some value was there between points uh, be, between 0 and 0 0.05 you would have got red color here but since it is not there it is not shown okay this is the method uh, suppose i i will put some value and i will see here Point zero zero one. Okay, and uh, just to show you, okay, this I am reading, copying to clipboard, and then I am reading okay, I am reading to you, then I am converting that. And then I'm plotting the this one. Just to show you one red color will come. Okay. Yeah, one red color will come. So like this because uh, here one value I have changed to I manually changed to less than 0 0.05. So suppose your alpha value is 0 0.05, you can plot it. Okay. This is how you can plot a correlation matrix and a p-value matrix. Hope you understood. Thank you.